The holiday season is here and today I want to, in the holiday spirit, go through a wish list. What type of wish list, you may ask? A Pokemon wish list, but not a positive one. Today we're gonna to be going through a shadow Pokemon wish list. I know it's a little bit dark for the holiday season. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be going through what shadow Pokemon I want to come to Pokemon Go, I want to have in my collection. I feel like some of these shadow Pokemon are overdue, but some of them as well might be a little ways off. Nonetheless, let's get right into it. Now quickly before we get into this video, you may ask how shadow Pokemon work. Shadow Pokemon take 20% more damage, but they will also dish out 20% more damage. They're pretty much just more of a glass cannon version of a Pokemon, and sometimes we'll make them better, but sometimes we'll make them worse. However, in raids, they're always gonna be better because that damage always helps. Now this is going to be divided in meta relevancy kind of thing because you know we like meta mons here. So first we're going to start talking about PvP Pokemon, then we're going to get into raids, then we'll get into legendaries, etc. So let's start with the best shadow Pokemon I think will be for PvP and I hope to come to the game. Okay, in the number one slot, we're going to have Miltank. Now Miltank recently got buffed with the new move rollout in PvP and it is not a bad Pokemon. It is very, very spammy with its body slam. But I do find that Miltank, the one problem it has is it just doesn't output enough damage. A non-shadow body slam does a good amount, but if it were to get a shadow form, this thing could be a absolute spammer of body slams, putting so much pressure on your opponent. It is a decently tanky Pokemon as well, so it wouldn't get too squishy becoming a Shadow Pokemon, and that can be an issue with a lot of Shadow Pokemon in which they become just way too squishy. In the next slot, we're going to have Shadow Swablu, which of course would evolve into Shadow Altaria. Shadow Altaria, honestly, I don't think a lot of people will want this one, but I think this one would be interesting to come to the game. We already know how deadly Dragon Breath on Altaria is, and if it were given a Shadow form, it would be even more deadly. I do believe I believe if Altaria had a shadow form, it wouldn't be able to survive ice punches from Medichams and it would struggle in a couple more matchups. So it wouldn't always be the best option, but it would be crazy oppressive with that Dragon Breath. The next one we're gonna have is Shadow Meryl. Again, another one people probably don't wanna see because Shadow Azumarill could be pretty deadly in the game. Now, the one thing about Azumarill is its bulk is what makes it strong. So maybe the shadow form would not be the preferred option all the time because you would be missing out on bulk for a little bit of extra damage. But I think Shadow Azumarill could allow it to just hit harder with those play roughs. It would hit harder with those ice beams. I believe it would be able to win a versus a regular Azumarill easier. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look at the matchups, but it would be an interesting shadow. We then have Shadow Yamask and even Shadow Galarian Yamask, although that one's more far off. I think Shadow Yamask would be a very interesting one to see because Shadow Kofagrigus could be very strong with those Shadow Claws. The one most interesting thing I think about this is giving access to Kofagrigus to the move Return. Return is a purified exclusive move, and if Shadow your mask does come to the game, it would allow Kofagrigus to have this hard hitting charge move. And I think it could be pretty helpful for Kofagrigus. Finally, we have Shadow Galarian Stunfisk. We do have Shadow Alolan Pokemon already in the game. So I don't see why Galarian Pokemon can't come. Not sure how much this one would change. I think Galarian Stunfisk is already pretty well balanced. I don't really think the extra damage would help it out too much, but it is one I'll throw on the list. Okay, that moves us on to Pokemon for raids. Shadow Pokemon I wanna see in raids. And this is the main list because Shadow Pokemon get more use out of raids because they just make a Pokemon just always better. In PvP, it's sometimes better to have a shadow. In raids, it's always better. Number one is going to be Shadow Rhyhorn, which has been requested for the longest time. Shadow Rhyhorn, of course, will go into Shadow Rhyperior, which would help Rhyperior out immensely as a rock and a ground type rain attacker. I believe it would push it easily up to number one overall rock type, especially with Rock Wrecker. We then have Shadow Ghastly. Now, Shadow Ghastly is an interesting one, and I don't really know how it would come to the game because people always say Ghastly is already a shadow. It's already like a mist pile. How does it get even more misty? But when you say that, I say, look at Mistrevis. It's literally the same thing. Shadow Ghastly though into Shadow Gengar would help Gengar out as a raid attacker. It would just become a very, very high DPS ghost type raid attacker, which is something we've been missing for the longest time. Although there would be some Pokemon with shadow forms as ghost types that would be better than it, and we'll get to that. I think Shadow Ghastly into Shadow Gengar would be really nice to see, and I'm just surprised why Shadow Gengar is not a thing yet because Shadow Miss Magnus is a thing, bro. The next one is gonna be Shadow Kranidos, which is another very, very popular one in the community. Shadow Kranidos, of course, evolves into Shadow Rampardos, which would make Shadow Rampardos' DPS like insanely high. Rampardos already has like an insane rock type damage output, but with the Shadow form, it would just become the ultimate glass cannon. And although it would probably die to any single charge move, as long as it gets a charge move off, it's probably doing more damage than any other rock type rate attacker. We then have probably the most requested one out of all, and that's gonna be 
Shadow Gibble. Shadow Gibble is next in line to be released as a pseudo legendary shadow. We already have Shadow Larvitar, we already have Shadow Bagon, Beldum, we already have Shadow Dratini. Shadow Gibble is next up. Shadow Gibble into Shadow Garchomp would make Shadow Garchomp, I believe, number one ground type rate attacker. However, I think actually Shadow Mamoswine is technically going to be better than it, but it'll also make it an amazing dragon type rate attacker. It would probably push it up so high. All in all, it'd be a very useful shadow to have because you could use a Shadow Garchomp as two types of rate attackers and very strong as both. It's kind of like a Shadow Mamoswine, I find. Really hope this one comes to the game, hopefully during the next Shadow update. We then have Shadow Dino, which would be obviously after Shadow Gibble, but I was looking at Shadow High Dragon with Brutal Swing, and that thing would be absolutely destructive as a dark type rate attacker. It would be number one overall forever as a dark type rate attacker. I don't think anything would be better than it, unless maybe something else gets like Brutal Swing. But Shadow High Dragon, amazing Pokemon. I really want to see it come, but that one will be a little more far off. We then have Shadow Timber, which is going to be a Gen 5 fighting type Pokemon. Now, Timber has been pretty exclusive towards raids for the longest time, but I do believe Shadow Timber is something that I could see on the horizon soon. Shadow Conkeldor would be the number one fighting type rate attacker in the game. It'd be better as Trachyon in damage per second, but not overall. Still a very, very strong Pokemon. Hope it comes to the game because I've rated so many Timbers. I have so much candy for it. I just want to put it into a Shadow. We then have Shadow Drillbur, another one a little more far off, but Shadow Extra Drill would help it out as a ground type rate attacker a little bit. And then finally, Shadow Litwick, again, a little more far off, but Shadow Litwick into Chandelure, like I mentioned before, would probably be the number one ghost type rate attacker in the game. It would be better than Shadow Gengar if that would come because Shadow Chandelure has a little more bulk than Shadow Gengar. Okay, that moves us on to legendary Pokemon. This is the one everyone's waiting for. And honestly, these ones are just like, they're gonna come to the game. It's just a matter of time kind of thing. Obviously, one of the most requested one would be Shadow Rayquaza. Everyone wants that thing. I think it will be a couple more Shadow Legendaries until we get Shadow Rayquaza, but obviously Shadow Rayquaza gonna be the number one dragon type Ray Tiger in the game. It's gonna be absolutely broken. I don't think anything will ever have a higher stat than it. I think it will compete with Mewtwo, Shadow Mewtwo, as in terms of damage per second or highest damage per second in the game. We then, of course, Shadow Groudon and Shadow Kyogre. I'll put those as a pair. Those things would be pretty strong. However, I do believe like Shadow Mamoswine might still be better than it. Don't quote me, but like, I don't think they're going to be that amazing. Unfortunately, like Kyogre and Groudon are actually kind of like outclassed as raid attackers by a couple of regular Pokemon. We then have Shadow Registeel. Now, Shadow Registeel is probably the shadow I see the most coming next since we've had uh, Shadow Latios, Latias. I I think the Reggie Trio is next up. Obviously, I think Reggie Ice and Reggie Rock might come first, but when Shadow Reggie Steel does come to the game, I think it could help Reggie Steel out a lot. Reason being is right now Reggie Steel has no farm down power. It knows the move Lock On, which does like no damage, and it charges energy quick, but it can't farm down. I think not only number one will it make Lock On do a little bit more damage to farm down, but also this will allow. Registeel to reach those one shots on certain Pokemon with things like Zap Cannon on Noctowl or, you know, Focus Blast on a Galarian Stunfisk. It would allow it to just do that extra damage that would maybe leave it to be able to farm down these Pokemon instead of having to expend shields or use two charge moves to take them out. Finally, we have Shadow Palkia, Shadow Dialga, Shadow Giratina, Shadow Darkrai, whatever you want to say. There's just so many other shadows. We could even jump a generation further. Shadow Zekrom, all those will come in due time. It will probably take them a while because Niantic is very slow at releasing Shadow Legendary but they will come at one point. Just be patient, and obviously, I hope they all come. That's why they're on my wish list. Finally, that brings us to the last section of this video, which is going to be a new type of Shadow Pokemon, Baby Shadow Pokemon. Now, when 12 kilometer eggs were released in Pokemon Go, everyone thought you'd be able to hatch certain exclusive Shadow Pokemon in these 12 kilometer eggs. Obviously, that's not what ended up happening. It was just some exclusive dark type Pokemon, but it would be amazing to see Shadow Pokemon make their way into the baby form. What would this give us access to? Well, this would give us access to both Shadow Togepi, which we could get just Togetic as a regular Shadow Encounter, but Shadow Togepi into Shadow Togekiss would allow Shadow Togekiss to be a very good fairy type rate attacker and even more oppressive in the Master League, although it's not as good anymore because Charm did get nerfed. But the big one this would give us access to would be Shadow Lucario. Shadow Lucario's DPS would be absolutely insane as a fighting type raid attacker. I do believe it would be number one DPS for pretty much all time as a raid attacker. Can we really expect Pokemon or Shadow Pokemon going into eggs? Probably not, but it would be really cool if we could hatch Shadow Pokemon and hatch like a Shadow Riolu or something. They could even throw in some other random Shadow Pokemon into the egg pool. I don't even mind. I'd still hatch the eggs to try to get a Shadow Riolu. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is my wish list for Shadow Pokemon. If you believe I missed a very important one, or if there's any Shadow Pokemon you want to see come to the game, let me know in the comment section below. Those are the main ones I want to see. And honestly, the one I want to see the most right now is probably Rhyhorn, because that one is so outdated. So I do hope it comes. But for now, that is my list. I wish you guys all a happy holidays, and I hope you guys end up getting what you put on your wish list for the holidays. And we're going to see you all in the next one, guys. Follow up tips, everybody. Peace.